Looking back the early days, unlike other teams that were already competing in other championships, we had to build our team from scratch, find you know, facilities and people to run the team and drivers and get everything ready. So yeah, in the space of nine months, going from you know incorporating a company to racing in Beijing was a tall order, but we made it. Season one, all the cars were identical, and then we had to move to our own developed cars for season two as we started the, the partnership with DS. We had pretty much six months design, manufacture, tests, a brand new race car. We had a really decent year. And of course, from then on, the departure and technology improved so much. What is really incredible about Formula E is how quickly it grew and evolved. I was the, the first one to say, we don't want to be judged on where we started. We want to be judged on how quickly we are progressing the technology and, and, and making big advancements. And this is exactly what Formula E did. In four years, you know, we doubled the amount of energy in the, in the battery, we went a lot faster. Uh, the sport was really unrecognizable from, from the first year to the fifth season, let's say, when we started Gen 2. So really, really rapid growth. And it was really fantastic to see how, how competitive and how professional the sport became. We've been really lucky to have a long relationship with drivers over many years, long multi-year contracts. Personally, I'm a big believer of stability. So having driver continuity was also really important to make sure that you know, everything we gain, we don't lose somewhere else at the same time. It was really about building a strong knowledge, a strong data set for the team overall. Of course, our drivers are different, very different characters, very different strengths and weaknesses. Some of our drivers are very analytical and really into the data, which is very important in Formula E and became more and more important as the years gone by. But also we rely on, on raw talent and instinct for, for driving fast that ultimately matters. Winning the championship in the end for us was a, a huge moment of pride for me, for my team, especially all the people that have been with me for a long time. Our parent company and vision for the support, our partners, our fans, all this ecosystem of people around us who've been supporting us for, for so many years. You know how competitive Formula e is and, and that we are winning against the best teams and the best manufacturers in the world. So winning this championship was really, really special. What is next for Envision Racing? Well, of course we have to defend our title. But as a general picture, I think what we want is a growth for the sport. To get Formula in front of more people and, and get our sport more widely known, we want to make Formula this amazing platform for change, where we can all talk about these amazing things we are doing in all our different teams. This is what will bring me a lot of satisfaction, which is to know that we are really making a difference, we are having an impact. And of course, the bigger the platform, the more impact we can have.